Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with need for speed and bound addition. Your controller stopped working while playing the game. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed. We will go ahead with a basic troubleshooting step. First of all, open up your game client which is Steam and head over to the library option. In this left pane, you will find the option of Steam. Simply right click on your game and choose the option properties over here. Now click on the controller tab and over here under the controller settings simply drop down and choose the option disable steam input. Once chosen click on the close button restart your client and then try to play the game again. If this one doesn't fix next time click on this steam menu and choose the option settings over here. Now here click on the controller tab and you will find the option of general controller settings click on it. Over here, whichever client you have, PlayStation or Xbox, check mark the icon, whichever client you are using, either PlayStation or Xbox. You need to check mark the single one, then go ahead, restart your client and try to play the game again. If this also failed, again, go ahead and go to the controller settings again and uncheck all the options available over here. Once you uncheck all the options, again go back. Close your steam and don't forget to restart the steam again. If this method also fails to work out, let's proceed with the next step. In next step, you need to download a software with the name of DS4 Windows. I will share the link in the description of this video. Simply click on this download option. Hit the download button. Save it in your system and once it is saved, it's a zip file, you need to extract the files present in the folder. Extract onto your desktop. Now open up the folder and you will find the option of DS4 Windows application over here. Go ahead and run it. Once the file is open, go ahead and choose the program folder. And this will install ds4 windows to you now go ahead and click on the finish button now click on the option settings over here here you will find the option of hide ds4 now check mark the icon hide ds4 controller and close it now go ahead restart your pc and try to play the game of need for speed unbound edition again and check if your controller is started to working out or not if this one also failed in next step i suggest you to unplug any other external devices such as any kind of racing wheel or any other controller that you have attached to a system. For example, if you have attached Xbox controller along with PlayStation controller, make sure you plug in just a single controller to play the game of Need for Speed Unbound. Even after unplugging the controller also doesn't fix out the issue, let's proceed to the last and final step. Head over to your Steam and you will find the option of add a game. Click on it and choose the option add a non Steam game. Now here you need to add the EA launcher over here by clicking on this browse option. You need to head over the directory of the EA Sports which is available in C drive, program files, electronics art folder, EA desktop and here you will find the option of EA desktop. You need to select this and hit the open button. Once it is added, check mark the icon EA desktop. Once it is done, hit the add selected program option. Once it is selected over here, now go ahead and launch the EA desktop right from here and this will completely fix out the issue of controller not working while playing the need for speed unbound edition in your Windows PC. So this is all about it friends. This is how you will fix the issue with controller not working in need for speed. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.